Harper leaves to kill a mockingbird, Scout Finch comes home from her first day of school absolutely abhorring her teacher, Miss Caroline. She asks her father, Atticus, if it would be alright never to return to school again. He gently refuses this request and instead offers her a sage piece of advice. He says, you never really understand a person until you consider things from his point of view, until you climb into his skin and walk around in it. Now, what Atticus is getting at here is the principle of empathy, the idea of considering someone else's situation to gain insight on how they feel. Now, I've always been a particularly empathetic person. As a kid, I would play pretend, off in La La Land, kind of exploring the situations around me. I would watch a television show and reenact it and try to understand what the character was feeling in a given situation. I would reinvent the plot to see if it changed the way they felt. I would play house to understand a mother and father relationship. I would invent all sorts of situations to try to better understand the people around me. You may have thought I was lost or disconnected, a little weird, <laughs> a bit spacey, but I was really just trying to better understand the people around me. Now, it's really no surprise that I became an actor because that's sort of the applied practice of my playing pretend. So I was just on the road to a uh, love of acting that I've pursued for a while now. So you might be wondering, what exactly does an actor do? Obviously they put on a show, they film a movie or whatever it is they're doing, but an actor's real job is to bear the burden of their character. Their job is to take on their, all of their realities and understand why they do the things they do and how that informs the way that they feel. I've played a lot of different characters from all sorts of walks of life. I've played a street urchin, I've played a princess, I've played an omniscient narrator, I've played all sorts of different things. And what's interesting to me is that I've tried to understand situations that I, as an 18-year-old in high school, would never have understood at any point in my life. So I've gained a lot of insight on the, the lives of the people around me or fictional characters that I portray on stage. So what I'm going to do now is focus in on a character that I played sophomore year. I was Cinderella and in Into the Woods. And I'm just going to take you through how I approach this character. So I started out by trying to understand her history. So where'd she come from? She had a loving mother and father. She was really happy, totally content with life. So it's not too unfamiliar, I was a pretty happy kid. I, I understand where she's coming from. But then I had to understand what it's like to lose a mother. I'm really close with my mom, so it was easy for me to see how devastating that is for a young woman to go through the loss of a mother. So then on top of that, her father completely neglects her and essentially tries to replace her and the absence of her mother in her life. So I had to understand what it's like to essentially lose both of your parents all at once. So I try to understand the immense sense of betrayal and loss in there. And then on top of that, it's very extreme, but she has to work in her father's home as a servant. So that was pretty extreme, but I tried to understand how horrible that would feel. And then the thing about Cinderella, she never loses her sense of hope. She constantly has this, this undying hope and it keeps her pursuing her goal, which is very simple. It's to go to the ball and just have a good time, let loose, get away from her chores. <laughs> One weekend. So, ultimately, Cinderella accomplishes far more than she thought she would in the beginning of the show. She marries a handsome prince and moves into a really nice castle at the end of Act One. But the thing about Into the Woods is the Act One ends where the classic fairy tales do. They end at that quintessential happily ever after. But then, in Act 2, it asks what happens after that. So, sad to say, a lot of things fall apart for Cinderella. She finds herself standing in the woods, and her loving prince tells her that he's cheated on her, and then promptly walks away forever, and leaves her standing in the woods. So I had this moment when I was playing this role on our Sunday night performance. We got to that scene, my prince, told me he cheated on me, walked down the center aisle and out the theater, leaving me standing there in this big vacuous space all by myself. And I felt that pit in my stomach, and I burst into tears. 
I wept uncontrollably, and in that moment, I asked myself, Julia, what are you doing? <laughs> what are, what's happening? And then I realized, I realized that that was the moment where I really understood what it means to be an actor and what it means to understand someone else's perspective. I was taking on someone else's feelings and truly understanding them for the first time in my life. And that's where I discovered the connection between acting and empathy. They're truly synonymous. So you may be sitting there asking yourself how this can apply to you. You may have never stepped a foot on a stage or had any sort of interest in doing that. But in reality, we've all experienced empathy through actors. We watch television shows, we read novels, we watch movies, and we, we try to sort of picture things from the character's point of view. Because who hasn't cried at the end of Titanic or laughed uproariously when the lady poops in the street in Bridesmaids? <laughs> it's as if these characters are our best friends. And we try to sort of see things from their perspective. And in doing so, we are practicing empathy for fictional characters. So in my experience, obviously, I go to the extreme. I literally step into someone else's skin and try to see things from their point of view. But my hope is that we can all gain something from theater or just from our everyday interactions with other people by trying to understand things from their point of view and stepping into their skin and considering their perspective. Thank you.